If my music could be any type of food, I don't know why I thought of it, but I thought of a kiwi. Maybe I have rubbish here, but my music's funky and weird inside, but it's good for you because it's a superfood. <laughs> I don't know. I don't... The way I prepare for um, events are different. Um, festival, usually you're playing a shorter set, club, you're playing longer. I kind of always go through, see what's in my folders. I, I, I don't play with a planned set. You know, I do have some areas of my sets where it's a routine, so I, I kind of know ahead of time in, in those little areas, but it's about simplifying. I, yeah, I, I really like to use the equipment when I play. I like to try and use as much of the technology as possible. And a lot of that just comes from learning on vinyl. That's why I don't use a computer. I just try and use what's available on the CDJ, what's available on the mixer. You just do these little things that kind of help you weave your way in and out. And I think it's, it's more freeing DJing rather than trying to be stuck with track one, two, three, four, like you're gonna play this certain list. You can kind of be like, eh, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go over here now. Knowing that you have these tools to help you get to those certain points. Are you ready?